Once the dough has chilled, unwrap it and let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes. If the dough is still hard, you can knead it a few times like this, making it a bit softer and easier to press into the pan. I roll the dough out a bit just to get it started before pressing it into the tart pan. If you don't have a rectangular tart pan, you could use a round one. But I do think part of the charm of this dessert is its shape. The one I used here is a 9 inch pan with a removable bottom. Use the palm of your hand to nudge the dough where you want it to go. Try to make it the same thickness so that it cooks evenly. It does not have to be perfect. If you end up with a few holes, just press the dough together and carry on. That is what is so great about this dough. It's very forgiving. Chill again for 30 minutes in the refrigerator to set the dough. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and blind bake the chilled dough. I have used dried beans to weigh the dough down. Whatever you use, just be sure it fills the entire surface. Blind bake the dough for about 13 to 15 minutes. Take out of the oven and carefully remove the foil and beans. Notice that the sides of the tart will be sort of set and partially cooked. The bottom, however, will still be quite doughy. Place back into the oven for about 23 to 25 minutes until the tart is a light golden brown. Take the tart out of the oven and place on a cooling rack for 30 minutes.